Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. In these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and to the point. And of course, at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth videos to give you a safe place to practice and to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. Our question type focus this week is, drum roll, multi-select. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. It says to select all of the expressions that have a value of 525. So select all, that means we're going to try all of them. We're gonna work out all of the choices to make sure, not just stop at the one that looks correct. This is a multi-select question, so most likely there's going to be more than one correct answer. It says select all of the expressions. If you notice down here, we have some expressions. There is no equal sign present, okay? And then a value means a worth or an amount of 525. All right, now, before we even get started going over this, I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video and solve this one on your own. Then press play and come back to check your work. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and solve it. Now, actually, I have to preface this. Before I solve, I'm going to use mental math. By using mental math, I might get to determine that I don't even need to go into solving it. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. We've got 1,000 minus 575. Well, I know that 1,000 minus 500 equals 500. And I know that 1,000 minus the next 100, if I were to round this up to 600, would equal 400, which means that our answer is going to be between 400 and 500. So 525 is actually too much. Do you see there how I use mental math to figure that out? Now, if you actually solved it and found out that 1,000 minus 575 equals 425 and then you eliminated it, that is awesome too. Let's go to the next one. It says 323 plus 202. So just using mental math, I've got approximately 300 plus 200, and I've, that's pretty close to 500. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually solve this one out just to make sure. 323 plus 202, and we get 525, which it does contain that value. So yes, this is an answer choice. Let's go ahead and mark that one. Now again, this is a multi-select, so we're gonna walk through all of them. All right, the next one would round to 899 rounds to about 900, and 374 rounds to about 400. And 900 minus 400 is close to 500, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and solve this one out too, just to make sure. That lets me know I'm close. All right, and we do, we get an answer of 525. Okay, so we'll mark that one. Now, it could be only two answers, but it could be more. Remember, with the multi-select, we're going to work out all of them, or try all of them. All right, the next one, we've got 1,200 minus about 375. That's pretty close to 400, which would equal 8. That's way too much. I can go ahead and eliminate that one. Now let's say that you solved it out. You solved out 1,200 minus 375 and you got a value of 825. That is still correct. Well, it's not the correct answer, but you still used a strategy to help you eliminate this answer choice. All right, last one, we've got 487. That's about 500. And 138, that's about 100. And 400 plus 100 would be 600, and that is too much. So we know that we can go ahead and eliminate that. Again, if you added it up and you got a sum that was way over 525, then you also know that we could eliminate that one. So we've got the second and the third choice. Those are your correct answers. And that is how you could solve this Fast Math freebie of the week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, 
Follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, and more confident with anything, you have to put in the practice. You have to throw down your best effort every Every single time. I believe in you and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.